be terrific. Official coverage of CES 2017. Hey guys, Andrea Fasano here back at South Hall at the Las Vegas Convention Center here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. It is a little chilly though this time of year. It feels good to me. It does feel good. Right now I'm standing with Brian from Optic Wash, founder, owner, creator. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm doing really great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Glad to be here finally. We're finally launching our product after six years of development, so we're anxious. Now, this product looks so awesome. There's a little noise going on right here, you guys, because there's one working, but I think Brian's going to show us actually what these do. Yeah, the actual kiosk is a customer service kiosk. We clean eyewear, jewelry, and now the new waterproof smartphones. Actually, speaking of jewelry, you got a nice watch and ring there. How about I clean it for you? Uh, I would love that because I don't think I've cleaned it since I got it. Great. Let me hold your microphone and you, Thank you, you go ahead and take it off. Okay. Do so you want both? Sure. Okay. Do them both at the same time. Uh, okay. I'm a little nervous about this, but I, it would really I be useful. If I damage it, I'll buy you a new one. It's real simple. That's a deal. It's self-serve. Self you walk up, just hit the button. This is a revenue machine that you pay with a credit card or $2. The watch just goes in the tree here. Can you see that, Adam? We're going to drop the ring right there on the corner, Ooh. and we're going to hit start. That's it. Two minutes from now, it's going to be completely clean, bacteria-free, and dry. So you could do multiple uh, multiple accessories all at once? Yes, usually like the tree. You can only do one watch at a time. But, I'm going to stand next to you over okay. here so you can see this. But the, uh, you can load the tree up with, with rings. You can put bracelets in there. A lot of people just load it as much as they can. But the uh, on the jewelry side, like I said, one watch at a time. And then on the eyewear side, one pair of glasses at a time. But you also can do the rings on the eyewear side too. You know, while that's going, um, we here at Be Terrific love stories, right guys? We love to know backstories, especially for CEOs and founders of companies. And you have a pretty interesting one. You said you got rid of how many car dealerships? Six car, dealerships. car Six car dealerships in order to invest in this company. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, it was, uh, it was funny when we did it because we had to go, we had a Porsche dealership in Destin, Florida, and we had to go out, uh, fire one of the employees. It was a manager. So my son and I went to lunch at a uh, restaurant there close and outside strip mall and a little frustrated I said I need to do something in vending that doesn't require all these employees I had about 160 employees at the time with the six stores and of course you need employees but I was just vending and I looked around I said I want to do something in vending I said I don't want to do it something that everybody else does I don't want an ice machine or coke machine. chips <laughs> yeah so I'm looking around I told my son I said everybody's wearing eyewear let's figure out how to clean them I don't think anybody does that so I went and did my due diligence researched it and went home. I'm an engineer too, so went home and built the first prototype in my garage and and uh, six years later, here we are. I would say the secret to success is persistence. If you'd have told me six years ago they'd take this long, I probably wouldn't have done it. <laughs> <laughs> but you hung in there and now you're here at CES 2017. Have you guys, is this your first appearance here? Uh, we were here at Eureka Park the last two years with our beta machines. One of them was a larger machine that we're no longer even making. And again, it's evolving quickly. We're learning from society and, and what the public wants, and that's where this one evolved from. So what can we do with these machines? Where, where can they be found? Actually, we designed it originally for airports and malls, but we're brand, branching off into the vision industry with doctors, private practices. We're in several practices already with the first 50 machines we deployed. A lot of the uh, opticians and vision centers are putting this machine in for their customers. So the, the use of this machine is endless. But I think my watch is done. Yeah, yes. Like you want to zoom in on that? Go ahead, Adam. <laughs> That looks nice and shiny. I'll let you take them out because they're bacteria free, okay. so I don't want to touch them. Now you be the judge. Oh, that's definitely shiny. Yeah, and there was all that, you know, stuff up in there. And it's My only two pounds of pressure. So, well, your hair's clean too now. <laughs> yeah. But there's only two pounds of pressure, so it's, it may take more than one cycle to remove a buildup on a heavy buildup. That's amazing. So well, I got one more rack for you. We now do the waterproof cell phones. Like so the iPhone 7. Like see that, we'll do a demo here. Okay, we're going to move to the next machine. I have to get my uh, card here. This one we use a loyalty card because I don't want anybody coming up, swiping their, putting their uh, phone in here, and it's not a waterproof phone. Let me grab a phone from This is my son's cell phone, so he's going to be the brave soul. This is the new 7, okay. water resistant. Now, this is water resistant. As he's putting this in here and 
it seems pretty easy to it's use. Very intuitive, very easy to use. This just goes in. I'll hit the start button on this one just so we can be recording. I love it. So while he's setting this up, he's going to be recording us from inside the machine, which is really cool. But um, what I really liked about this was you did a bacteria test before we yes. ever went on camera to see how dirty the phone really was. Tell us about that. Well, bacteria meter we use, 0 to 10 is okay. It passes. 10 to 20 is marginal. Anything over 20 is just sit Disgusting. Disgusting, yeah. Just plain a, gross. We had a 28, if you recall, on the swab. Yeah. So and you said this was your son's phone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I have no idea where it's been. <laughs> well, it's it's getting its due clean right now. So how long does this take? Two minute process, start to finish. And the neat thing is, for for marketing reasons, you're standing here for two minutes. You're a captive audience. We sell advertising on this top kiosk. So if you're in a vision center, the doctor can go to his suppliers and have them advertise, help cover the cost, or in retail, like airports, we can put anything up there. It's all streamed or loaded with a, a flash drive. And now, why and how does this not hurt the product? I know it's water There's resistant, only but. Two pounds of pressure, so it can't penetrate. There's no chemicals, and it's not heated. Those are all things that are not friendly to jewelry. You go to a jeweler, they use ultrasound or a high pressure heat, which is about 80 psi. That's not good. That's why the little stones come out. They loosen them, vibrate them loose, or they blow them out. This can't damage it because it's it's not high pressure. And what about with the phone? Same thing? The it's the same? Yeah, same thing. The phone we're testing, this is actually a beta test holder, so it doesn't look the greatest. But we're covering the ends. Even though it's a waterproof phone, we cover the ends so the water can't blow in. And it, as you'll see, we'll do a test. Blake, can I get the meter and a, a swab? We'll do a test as soon as this is done, and we'll show you what it is. Okay. Well, that is incredible. It's only six seconds left. It's on the dry cycle. So is there anything else you can share with us about this whole process that you've learned for six years? You could go ahead and grab that. Probably the best thing, again, that every time we do this, I've been doing this for six years, I'm excited every time something comes out. <laughs> you never get tired of seeing it. I mean, it's just amazing. So you go. can see it's still recording. It's you look at the back of the phone, the front of the phone, I'll shut it off so we can uh, get the shine on the surface. Now you can see where it's got a mark is where I touched it. <laughs> so I'm not going to swab that part. Let me get a swab and we'll do a test. It takes 10 seconds. Okay. 10 seconds, guys. So he said, obviously, these swabs do not come with the machines, but he likes to use it in order to show people, yeah, your phone's dirty, but this is how great my machine is, that it could clean it up real quick, two minutes. So swabbing the phone. He's going to have to clean it again when I'm done because I'm getting it all wet. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. I'll set the phone down. We're going to have to get that video when you're done. <laughs> Put it in the tube. And I take the meter. Got a lot of awesome hands back here. It's a nice yeah, team. My two, my two sons are here with me. They're partners, so uh, I've got them going after the the parts for me. Now, where are you guys out of? Florida. Ocala, Florida is where we base. Hit the OK. And since this is live, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> if anything over 10 comes up, it was a bad report. Oh, no way. You saw it before. You guys are watching it live right here at Optic Wash. Brian, thank you so much. What a product. If they want to look into the product further, how can they do that? Opticwash.com. There you go, guys. Opticwash.com. Thank you for my new nice and shiny jewelry. We forgot a pair of glasses, didn't we? Dave is running around dirty. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get Dave's glasses in okay. this machine before we'll we go. Thank you so much, you guys. Good luck with this product. Thank it's you very much. amazing, Thank you. and um, it's I think it's gonna help a lot of people. I think the the eyewear thing is awesome too because those next, are our, so our smudgy biggest, and gross. Uh, our biggest challenge is gonna be. Uh, is getting the public to understand it and know about it, the, the awareness campaign. Absolutely, but once they do, I mean, this makes sense and, and aptly titled. So <laughs> that's Brian with Optic Wash. You guys have been watching us here live from South Hall at the Las Vegas Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. You're here live thanks to Live View. You're watching Be Terrific. I'm Andrea Fasano, and we'll be back with so much more from CES 2017 right after this.
be terrific. Official coverage of CES 2017.